us about a year and a half to, uh, to put together. Uh, it just uh, came over time, you know, uh, Anane's a fairly new artist, she's a, this is her first solo album. So uh, she was part of a group that I have called Elements of Life, which is my live band. And um, this was pretty much her taking her influences, you know, uh, I just created the foundation of music for her. You know, uh, actually there's a lot of music there that I've never really, uh, and styles that I've never touched upon, you know. I never really made Cape Verdean traditional music, which is, you know, a beautiful a world uh, style of music. And uh, also um, reggae and rock, you know, I combined a lot of different styles for her that she really loved. Some of the the uh, the things that uh, that Yoko Ono uh, was writing about there, and um, and John, and um, you know, uh, she really loved the, the song. So I said, well, why don't you know? Why, a friend of ours came. His name is uh, Louis Barbia. He's a DJ in New York City. He said that uh, he would love to remake Walking on Thin Ice uh, with Anane. And after I showed her that record, it just convinced her, like, yes, I want to do it. So. Um, you know, they got together, and then um, later on, I, 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 I took the tune and, and added some of my uh, flavor to it, and um, it became what it is. You know, so it was a very, very fun, uh, fun uh, record to do, and uh, I feel she really did a beautiful job at uh, interpreting the song. Love me to dream. Every moment that you feel. At one of the Cirque du Soleil parties, we met Roberto Cavalli. A few years back, and uh, we just hit it off really well, and we became good friends with Roberto Cavalli. And um, last year, we were hanging out in Ibiza and having dinner with him. And, uh, and we said, uh, you know, uh, I mean, it was actually Anani who said, Roberto, you have an amazing voice. I mean, did you ever record your voice? And then I said, you know what he does? He really, he sounds like a Barry White, you know, very deep voice, amazing voice. So. Um, I said, Roberto, why don't you let us record you in the studio? And he said, well, I've never done that before, but, you know, I'm willing to try. And, you know, he came to New York, and he was in New York for, you know, uh, I guess his business and everything, and, uh, and he reached out and says, I'm in New York, and I said, why don't you come by the studio? And it was really wonderful because, I mean, you know, I, I've worked in full-blown huge studios to, to just my home studio, and he says, you know what, I don't want the big fancy studio, I want to go where you're comfortable. I want to go, you know, to your studio. And uh, Anane and I couldn't believe it. I mean, we had Roberto Cavalli come to our studio at our house, and we recorded him. It was amazing, you know. And uh, you know, uh, we uh, Anane has always uh, she she always loved loved to love your baby, the uh, Donna Summer song. So we had remade the song, and um, Roberto's lyrics somehow just happened to fit that song perfectly. So uh, we overlaid his vocals at the right moments and everything on that song and uh, and it just matched perfectly you know so um, we, we, uh, we are happy to say and we're proud to say that we were the first to ever record Roberto Cavalli on a recording Don't let it stop. well you know it's funny because I mean we've been together uh, for many years and um, she's always had an incredible collection of music whether it's in her iTunes or that she's collected over the years, CDs back in the days, you know, and, uh, you know, she's always had a great mind uh, for good music, you know, and I'm talking about a broad mind, you know, for music. So, um, you know, I, I used to tell her years ago, a few years ago, I'd say, you know, you should really DJ, you know, I think you should, you know, you should try it. She's like, oh, you know, she was kind of shy about it and stuff, but she, you know, she, I guess she was curious about it. So she happened to go to a club uh, downtown uh, at the Mercer Hotel. Underneath the Mercer Hotel is a club called the Sub Mercer. And um, one of our friends uh, runs the place there. He's the general manager. Uh, his name is Stefan. And he went up to Anane and said, Anane, uh, this was a year ago. Said, would, would you like to, uh, to uh, DJ uh, and do a guest spot here? And she's like, well, you know, I've never really DJed in a club before. But, you know, uh, let me think about it. And she came home and told me, I said, you better do it, please, do it. I would love to hear what you're going to play. 
So at our home, what I did was, I mean, I have my studio downstairs, but upstairs I said, let me put a DJ setup for her together. Let, let me put it together for her and see if she uses it. You know? Cool. So I put little speakers, you know, two CDJ 1000s, a Yuri mixer. I even put an isolator in case she wants to, you know, mess around with it and stuff, and um, which are little gadgets we use in the clubs. And uh, next thing I'm in my studio, and while we're taking a break, I'm listening and I hear all this great music. I hear reggae, I hear world music, I hear, you know, all these different flavors. It was beautiful. And I said, wow. And, then, and I said, look, she, uh, I'm listening to what she's, you know, I have, I have my ears very fast. I can pick up, you know, right away. And I'm like, she knows what she's doing. Like, she's making great music so far, you know, and everything. And I'm listening to her, and she's practicing. And I said, wow, okay. So she's preparing herself for the sophomore so She did her first night, it was a big success. Everybody really loved it and and, and she kept going at it during the week practicing and, 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 and mixing at home and listening to music. It wasn't just like a one time thing. She, she's doing it all the time, you know? So uh, from there, I mean, things just started to happen. She started, uh, they offered her once a month and she's been doing it ever since uh, November uh, 2008 and um, now um, she's played all around the world. Uh, pretty much after that, she's done Pasha in New York City. She opened up for all sorts of DJs. For, I mean, she opened up for Morello, which is a whole different um, style of music and different scene. It was wonderful that they heard her and, and asked her to play there. She's she's played for me at, at Roots, my party at Cielo in New York City. She's played at uh, the Ministry of Sound in London. Uh, Cabo Paradiso in Mykonos, uh, Italy in, in front of 6,000 people in body. I mean, she's done a lot of uh, uh, great shows already. And uh, the, good, the cool thing is that, you know, you get the best of both worlds with her. Best of both worlds because she, uh, she DJs and then she sings. So she sings like three or four of her tunes and everybody's just going mad and crazy and they love it. Oh man, it's a lot of fun because um, this is the first, I mean, you know, I'm used to going in a place and I'm like, you know, sort of, I'm here supporting Ani for her tour, so, and, you know, I'm kind of co-headlining with her, which is wonderful, so when I go in, what I do is I play first for about an hour, and then she comes in, and uh, she has a choice, she either, you know, she changes it all the time, sometimes she wants to sing first, sometimes she wants to DJ first, so I just wait for her to decide what she wants to do, and then, you know, she, if she wants to sing, we put on her show, and, and I'm playing music, and, and uh, she's singing her songs, and then I play a few more tunes and then she gets on and she plays for like two hours and then I get back on again so it's a lot of fun and we jam together too. You know, she might be playing music and I'll start, you know, uh, twisting the knobs, you know, and uh, twisting the knobs on the isolators or, uh, or uh, effects units and just doing a lot of fun stuff together, you know, so it's, it's really a, a cool experience and, and a lot of people, uh, they know her as a singer so they haven't really experienced her in a lot of these places as a DJ, so everybody's really surprised because she really, really is doing an, an incredible job out there. I mean, we just came from uh, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and uh, San Francisco, and she tore the house down in all those places.